Hello and welcome back to SAP Plan Maintenance. This is Farooq from Cube ERP. In this session, we are going to create an equipment and then assign this equipment and, and then sorry, create an equipment task list. So the menu path for creating uh, equipment is logistics, plant maintenance, management of technical objects, equipment and create. And the transaction is IE01. So I'm just going to go straight into the transaction IE01. So let's create, uh, we create, uh, we're going to create electric pump is our equipment. So let's say electric pump here. Object type, so object type I've, I think this is a pump. Uh, so if you're going to create uh, an equipment as a function location, which you can also create, so then in that case you might be trying to give, uh, you might need to give the manufacturer, model number, part number, etc, etc. But here I'm, I'm not giving those uh, data. So once I've done this one, then I go to the location tab. In the location tab, I will give the plant. I will give the work center. the work center that I'm using in then I from here then I will go into the organization tab organization tab again I need to give the work center which is a maintenance work center because here it is going to pick up the planning plan so I'm going to give this and in the structure I, I need to give the function location so functional location that I created earlier I'm using that one so this is a function location once this is done, I can just, uh, so this is, this is it for the equipment and I can just save the equipment here. So once I've saved, so I get a message that my equipment has been saved. So next step is to create a equipment task list. So in the equipment task, task list, basically what we are telling the system is like what activities can be done on this equipment. So I go by the transaction IA01. So this is my equipment. So this is my uh, here where I go into IA01 system is already defaulting my equipment. But if you are just starting refresh on the system, so you can put the equipment number that you need and press enter. So here what we have to do is uh, the equipment is already there. So it has got the equipment, it has got the plant, planning plant, it has got work center, it has got the plant again. Then what we need is we need to give it as usage. In the usage, I mean one is uh, there are number of values in the background, one for production and four for plant maintenance. Because we are working on plant maintenance, so we will use four. Status, we are going to give the status as released. press enter, system will copy all the values in the background, then you go to operation. So in the operation what I am going to do is I am going to tell the system what it needs to do. It has got the work center already, so let's say cleaning of the pump is my first one, check oil of the pump. So this is two different operations that I have asked, so let's pick up this line and go to internal so in the internal what I'm telling is like uh, I say okay this is one hour of work one person will be doing it and total duration is two hours percentage hundred percent calculation keys one And then I go back. Uh, in addition, uh, so what I've done is in this internal, I can do it directly here also. So I can say like this will take one hour, one, one hour, hundred. And here also we can say like if we need any component, 
say for here in oiling if I need to use some oil I can go here. Uh, let me see what sort of materials are available in this plant. I'll go to transaction called MM60 and see what sort of materials are there. So, if it is stock material then we can assign it directly here. Uh, let's see if there is something called oil. Uh, there is nothing called oil. So, I can either create this one and then or I can just for an example I can uh, let me go and see what is in stock. I will go to transaction MB52 and I will just run the transaction to see what, what is in stock. So, so let me let me just create something. I will go into transaction Material Master Create MM01. Let's create oil. Let's take some plant maintenance. I will take this as a finished. Finished material. I will take basic data purchasing so that it can be purchased. We might need to come back to do this MRP later on, but I am not doing it now. I will go into general so that it can be stored and then we go into accounting so that we can have some cost on this one. So, I can make the plant uh, S-lock base, so oil, I uh, will take it as liter. Material group, let us see what are the material groups here. So, I will just take this one pump maintenance as a material group. Press enter, I do not need to put anything here. Next one is purchasing, so I do not need to do anything here as well. Plant data, that is ok. Nothing. So, here what I need to do is this is S means standard price. So, I can put the price of 1 liter say 2 dollars. Valuation class because it is a finished good. So, I will take a valuation class of 7920. Our standard price is here. And that is it. Now, my material has been created. So, the oil has been created now, but I do not have any stock. So, stock I will do it later on, but what I am going to do is I am just going to put it here. So, let us say I say 2 liters. And if I need this, I mean if it is a required material, then I need to click this thing which is called back flush indicator. So, whenever I click this back flush indicator, whenever I am going to use it, so it is going to ask me for this material. So, that is about it. Uh, we have done, let me go back and see if I am going missing anything. We are not missing anything. So, we have put everything there. And so, let us save it. So, once I have saved, so my task list has been saved. So, that is about it for equipment and equipment task list creation and in the next session we will start from the planning. We will create planning cycles and then see how and then progress with other business processes. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.